Hey guys, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today, finally, I'm going to be talking about Netflix's Dead to Me. I've been so, so behind on all my Netflix stuff. So we're going to go ahead and start off from like the very first deal that I've seen. So we're starting off with Dead to Me and we'll eventually end up with Stranger Things. So it has been a moment since I've seen it. So let me get my little refresher here. Alright, so it came out May 3rd on Netflix. It has 10 episodes. It stars Linda Cardellini as Judy, Christina Applegate as Jen, and James Marsden as Steve. So since it has been four months since this uh, show has come out, I am going to be talking spoilers. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get on with this review. Actually, it's going to be more like a recap over a review. And sorry for all the noise you're going to hear in the background. They're fixing my mom's uh, closet and then uh, my brother, he's being fussy because he wants to be in here. So we're going to get past this and we're going to see how quickly I can get through this. All right, here we go. Uh, the show was actually a little bit different than what I assumed it was going to be. Um, when I saw the previews, I honestly thought it was going to be more of a uh, comedy. Uh, but it is, I mean, it's technically still a comedy. It's more like a like a dark comedy than anything. Um, there goes that noise I was talking about. Jin ultimately is just trying to figure out who ran her or husband over. That's the whole uh, premises really of the uh, show. That somebody um, hit and killed uh, her husband. But the cops don't know who did it, have no leads. They just know it was a car. Jin is like, well, I need to do something because because the cops are not doing anything anything so in the meantime Jin is going it started going to this um, like support group for people who lost loved ones and that is where she ends up meeting Judy which is Linda Cardellini uh, she's the one that pretty much kind of like um, started off the started off the conversation the friendship whatnot she's kind of don't drink the coffee you know that's like a really good hint like that's true friendship right that's how you that's how you know that was gonna be a good friendship when they're looking after you for the coffee i can't really remember if she says too much or not at all i'm kind of thinking she really doesn't talk at first she kind of just listens but i know she i do recall that she did mention that she doesn't really sleep through the night so at that point is when judy uh brings it upon herself at the end of the meeting to tell her that you know she's up most of the night too gives her the phone number you know we can stay up together so that night you know she's again not being able to sleep and she takes her up on the offer and they have basically um just a really like all nighter phone call and that's how they pretty much end up um that's pretty much how their friendship ends up blooming i'll try to leave out a lot of the little tiny little details i may end up missing a few because again it's been since may since i've seen it i really should have probably rewatched it before i did this review but i wasn't all thinking ahead but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it if you are new guess what you're not you may just not get all the spoilers now so their friendship pretty much ended up growing pretty rapidly judy is more like a little free spirited just kind of like happy go gandy kind of gal and jen well i mean she just lost her husband mind you they are both in this um support group but we end up finding later on um that judy necessarily did not really lose uh somebody by death i mean her fiance did leave her but very much still alive and pretty much uh, their first friendship fight kind of goes when uh jen ends up finding out that judy lied about her fiance steve played by james marston that he truly wasn't dead but in fact just um left her she's on the phone with judy and it's just like well i'm here at your house what what do you mean you're here she goes she knocks and well who answers the door is steve and it's like whoa why are you still alive you're not supposed to be alive and there's kind of where you know steve kind of came in the mix you know he's a little bit of like a little asshole douchebag kind of guy but he pretty much ended up telling jen to kind of watch out for judy that she, you know she's not the best person in the world that everywhere she kind of goes like disaster kind of happens once judy ended up telling jen like kind of like the whole situation everything that happened you know she has had loss in her life um she's had uh quite a few miscarriages i really can't remember how many but i know it's been at least two for sure it's been at least two but i feel like it's been more than that um again i don't really remember let me know in the comment section below because i'm very very you know like again like i said it's been since since may since i've seen this show i think i'm pre doing pretty good though um so that's kind of where you know after that you know it took her some time it but ended up ultimately forgiving her 
for lying about uh steve um i'm not exactly sure if that's exactly when it happened but she did ultimately end up forgiving her mind you that's just a little tiny lie compared to the big ass huge lie that's to come once jen ends up finding out where judy Judy Liz, which is where she worked at the uh, senior living facility, um, she ultimately ends up uh, asking her, you know, to come, if she likes, to come and move into in, to the house with her. Well, not necessarily the house, just the guest house, which was um, the husband's um, kind of like music room. You know, she was a little bit hesitant, but at the end, she does end up moving in. And she was very, like, about it. Like, she has such bad juju vibes because we do end up finding out and i pretty much guessed it from i think from the previews i knew that she was the one that ended up running you know the husband over so of course you know she's feeling guilty because she's in the house or like the sacred space of the man that she murdered also we're gonna uh kind of go with one of her kids the younger one um ends up talking to this cute little bird um thinks that that's the the dad reincarnated um later in that episode or the next episode i can't remember jen ends up um supposedly talking to the husband as well that little bird kind of comes up and you know sees them and it's like you know i miss you and then the bird flies away it's like well fuck you too i'm going to fast forward just a little bit uh further on again it's just 10 episodes and they're about 30 minutes long uh, well one of the twists that kind of went on that i was actually not expecting was that steve was actually in the car with judy when she ran over jen's husband i was actually not expecting that i assumed that he knew um and he's actually the one that told her to like drive i don't think she ended up driving away i feel like they maybe have switched and he drove the rest of the way or am i just making that up at this point again it's been a minute i'm sorry but y'all get the concept he was in the car he knew what happened and everything in case you're wondering about the car because you know obviously the cops never found it so after judy ended up running over ted uh, they ended up driving the car to this storage facility and ended up putting the car in there well steve being the bright person that he is uh had been working secretly without actually telling uh, judy that he was actually breaking the car apart in pieces and you know uh disposing of them disposing of them uh correctly doing what he needed to do to really not have an actual car it's actually really smart to actually break it apart well one of the things that they didn't uh count on was that the um if i'm not mistaken it was the license plate that came off of uh the car and one of the um uh, pedestrians actually was a little girl who ended up finding uh ted um took the uh, license plate um, as a souvenir and never even told anybody uh, but eventually did end up telling the mom or the mom ended up finding out and they went and they took it to the detective so they were finding you know who this uh, vehicle belongs to um, they ended up being actually like this uh, rap sheet of possible uh, people that it actually could go to and they ended up finding um that the car actually you know what I don't think it was like because they would have found them I think it maybe was just like the bumper because they were able to figure out what type of car it was and that kind of makes more sense because they would be able to pinpoint somebody with the license plate does uh, stephanie um so i feel like that makes more sense is that right you guys let me know down below judy is with them and she you know she's looking through the through the list and ends up finding the art gallery which is where uh steve um owned and the the car that car certain car that they were using was registered to that gallery situation to that to that gallery but when the cops ended up coming to question him you know he of course is like very nonchalant very like well i don't know what you're talking about maybe he's done something in the past that they don't know of because he was very like Shh. all right so we're gonna go ahead and just jump on into the very last scene I don't really remember what was going on very very well but steve ended up um going to jen's house and was basically confronting her about some things either way it goes some some stuff happened jen ends up calling judy and was like oh we got a situation here well jen ended up killing steve and steve is there floating in the in the pool uh but yeah that's how the season ends is with uh the two ladies standing you know by the pool and like steve is just there 
then so we definitely hopefully we will get a season two everybody in this show like the whole cast was absolutely amazing and of course the leading ladies i mean their on-screen chemistry was absolutely wonderful and i love how they did incorporate also i didn't uh, mention this when i was talking to because i kind of forgot uh but we did end up finding out that uh jen ended up having a double mastectomy of course you know christina herself has had it as well oh and i almost forgot jen was actually trying to uh play with one of her kids online was we'll trying to figure out how to play this game because he would play with the the dad he she is logged in as you know ted and ends up getting a little message or through the uh the game if i'm not mistaken or, or i think it was through the game i don't think it was just through the computer uh just saying oh i've missed you and this this and that and i want to see you have mr cock and all this and um ends up you know doing a meeting uh and ends up inviting uh judy to accompany her to find out who uh ted was having an affair with which is, of course it's like really preppy with like big perky boobs uh like 20 year old uh i believe her name was bam if you guys have seen uh dead to me let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about it did you enjoy the series and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye